Hi, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas. Uh, we are out today in San Diego, and we're just testing out our first impressions of the Gazelle Hub Tent, the three-man version. Uh, the reason I bought this is um, we sometimes need some extra room in camp to put chairs away at night and uh, to get in out of the cold. So if you have the Mr. Buddy heater, it's a great way to not have to get up into the roof tent and have some place to go at uh, in the evening time. And uh, so when we've been looking around, we've got the REI Kingdom 6 tent, which is a really fabulous tent, but uh, it takes quite a bit of time to set up. And with uh, the Gazelle hub tent, uh, you can see this is our first attempt at it, and it literally just took a couple of minutes to set it up and have it deployed. It's a much better situation in the REI Kingdom tent because, again, uh, these things that take a lot of effort, they just don't seem to happen. So the philosophy behind this is it gives us something to get out of the uh, weather. Uh, it gives us something to get out of and have some shade. Uh, the tent seems to have adequate uh, windows and ventilation. Uh, we can use it as a, uh, with our uh, pet toilet if we need to, so we don't have to take along an additional tent for that. Uh, the floor is removable, so you could actually do a shower in there in a pinch, although the three-man uh, version is not really high enough for me to stand up in. But I didn't want to go to the four-man version because the length of the tent is just too long to get it into the rover without taking too much valuable space up. So uh, this was kind of a compromise size-wise. Uh, the nice thing about it is it lays in the back seat of the rover uh, across, to, across the vehicle with no issue. Uh, still has a little bit of room actually, so it's very stowable. Um, although a little bit on the heavy side at 31 pounds, so the quality of the tent um, is, is for the prices is, is fairly impressive. I mean, this is not a, a four season waterproof tent by any stretch of the imaginations, but the, uh, the stitching appears to be fairly good. Uh, I did notice a few loose um, strings here and there, but uh, overall the quality appears very good for this price range. Uh, the floor is removable, which is nice if you want to take the floor out um, to if you're in an area where you don't want to mess up the floor. So uh, once again, this is Jeffrey Douglas. This is just a first impression uh, video. We're leaving in a couple weeks for an extended trip, so we got this uh, for that trip. So we'll do some more videos as we've had some more experience with it. And of course, once we get to around a year or so, we'll do a more long-term uh, review for you, but um, so far I'm initially impressed. Hopefully um, this is helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And remember, get outdoors.